excited to uh, start competing again? Oh, yeah. I mean, our whole team's had a great fall, so I'm excited as long as everybody else to go down to Washington for the first meet and start competing with anybody else because, I mean, it's always fun competing with your teammates, but all the hard work you do at practice trying to compete against other teammates, its I mean, other people from other teams, it's always fun. How do you approach the indoor season personally? I mean, is this kind of your way to ease in to the outdoor season? I mean, personally, yeah, it's trying to work your way up to outdoors because that's the main focus of outdoors and outdoor nationals now everything like that. I mean, for me, I haven't really been so successful in the indoor season, so, but this year I've had the best fall I've had so far. So that's just momentum going to the indoor season. Hopefully I do well indoor season and then that'll bring more momentum to the outdoor season. So hopefully I can come out on top at the end of the day. So for me, that's just how it is. How important is it for you to have a good indoor season with the, with the outdoor season coming up right after. Oh man, it's very important because indoors it just brings momentum to outdoors. I mean, my three years I've never had a good indoor season, and then I come out outdoors and I'm, I've been pretty successful the last couple of years. So I feel if I do well this indoors, I'm even just going to do better outdoors. So that's just the real focus for me and everybody else. Marcus, well, last year your whole season seemed like a you know just kind of a build up towards the Olympic trials, and you know what's the approach this year with with the Olympic trials not not out there as you know. I mean, there's still world championships uh, in London this year, but that's not my focus at all. My focus is trying to get an NCAA double, NCAA title. So I mean, I'm not really focused on the outside summer competition. I'm just focused on trying to get an individual title for myself and for the team. Do you do anything different to prepare for this indoor season to try to have a better indoor season than in the past? Have I? I mean, I haven't really. I mean. I've had injuries in the past, in the fall and everything like that. I've been healthy, I've been doing train. I mean, uh, I've been getting with Vanessa to do extra training to make sure my body stays prepared every day at practice. I mean, in the fall, I went to Arizona to train for a little bit to get better weather instead of going back home to Tacoma where it's very cold. And so, and then when I was back in Tacoma, I found an indoor place to go train. So overall, I mean, I've done little things to make sure I've, I've place myself best for the indoor season. So that's kind of what I've done different compared to the other years. And why would you say this is your best fall? Is it because you do have injuries as compared to last time? Uh, it's not, well, it's not just the injuries, but injuries is the main point. I have, I've had no injuries and my body feels great, but also it's just training with no injuries. You can really focus on training and just training as hard as you can throughout every day. And so I think, Throughout the weight room, I've gotten a lot stronger, so I'm stronger than I've ever been. And then track-wise, that bringing that weight room strength to the track also has built me to be better at where I'm at now compared to every other year. You mentioned you were training in Arizona. Why did you go there, and who? What inspired the idea? I mean, Arizona just I know Arizona has good good weather. It was 70s, 80s every day, so I could go train outside and just have great weather instead of trying to be in the cold. When you train in the cold, I mean, you're just not. It's not going to be as effective. So I, I went out there because I have a friend out there, and so I stayed with them, and so then I trained and just. It was just a good decision on my part, just because I've never really got good training back home. Being home for a month, I mean, three to four weeks is a long time to keep training outside and not get, and being by yourself. So now I was actually with someone out there, so it was fun to time me and everything. What are your thoughts on, on how good the team can be this year? The you know, expectations here are always winning indoor titles. Is this team... Up, up to par with years past. Uh, this team, this team. Every, I mean, people doesn't don't really know everybody on the team because we have a lot of newcomers. We have Kyrie. He's a great runner from Western Kentucky. We have freshman people. So overall, I think our team's really prepared to be able to contend for a national title. It's just we don't really have all the big names that we used to have. I mean, obviously we have Edward Treasury and everybody like that. But most of, most of our team is new. But I know, seeing everybody at practice, that we can compete with anybody. So overall, we'll be ready to go when it's time to show.